I first came to an ISKCON temple on Labor Day weekend, 1967, in Montreal. I was studying in Toronto, and I'd come for the weekend to visit Expo. And I casually asked one of my friends, is there any Hindu, any Hindu temple in Montreal? He said, yes, the Americans have opened some temple here. Why don't you visit it? So I went to the Montreal temple on Labor Day weekend, 67. And I took part in the Sunday program. The kids then just went on and on and on and on. And, I, and as I was leaving the temple, they had a visitor's book in which I wrote down my name and address. And after returning to Toronto, I started getting a letter every month informing me about the schedule and asking for donations. And in May 68, I received a letter. Our Swamiji is coming to Montreal on June 4, 68. Please come and meet him. So I was planning on relocating back to Montreal in any case. And uh, I, I arrived in Montreal on May 31st. And the first assignment the temple president gave me was to clean Prabhupada's apartment. But Prabhupada was coming the next day. And Prabhupada resided at 420 Prince Arthur. So I had the privilege of meeting Prabhupada on June 1st, 1968. And I had almost no exposure to sadhus in India. In fact, there was one Bengali gentleman, Mr. Mukherjee. We used to come to meet Prabhupada regularly. He told me, oh, the sadhu is different. Anyway, as time went along, I could see that Prabhupada was a genuine saint. He quoted from the scriptures. He never said something of his own. He was very, he was like a real well-wisher, very friendly. And he wanted everyone to be happy. But he knew that real happiness would only come if we follow the scriptures. And Prabhupada was always straightforward. And in those days, there were not so many devotees. Prabhupada actually stayed in Montreal for three months. He had some green card problems in, in America. So he had to go out of America. And he came to Montreal on June 1st, and he stayed on till August 68. And in those days, leaders from different parts of America would regularly come to meet Prabhupada. As I said, I had zero exposure to sadhus. I'd never been to Vrindavan in my life. I'd never even heard of Vrindavan or Mayapur before I met Prabhupada. And I had never heard of Lord Chaitanya. The brief introduction of what Prabhupada was given to me by the Bengali gentleman who said, I've touched the feet of many sadhus, but he looks special. And as I said earlier, Prabhupada also gave me a lot of attention. I was Prabhupada's first Indian disciple in the West. And Prabhupada had a strong desire to also preach to the Indians and he wanted them to take to Krishna consciousness. Actually, there was one Indian who had joined from Buffalo, but he didn't stay for long. 